All right, I got a cool video for you today. I am going to try to measure the speed of my arrows using just that camera and some free editing software. Uh, if you have like a GoPro or an iPhone or basically anything that can shoot in high speed, um, I'll be shooting at 120 frames per second. And then I'll take the files into uh, some free editing software and I should be able to calculate pretty accurately the speed of my arrows. Now this would be useful for somebody that doesn't have access to a chronograph, which is uh, how they test the speed of arrows. But if you don't have access to one of those, or if you're just curious um, how fast your bow is shooting, basically anybody with a camera, a modern camera, can do this. The reason you might want to measure the speed of your arrows is, let, let's say you're trying a different arrow setup. Um, if you know the weight of your arrows, and you can calculate the speed, um, let's say you want to change broadheads or change to a different weighted arrow, you can calculate how much uh, difference that makes in the velocity of your arrow. Now today I'm just doing it because I can. I just think it kind of sounds fun to try it. So the bow I'm using today, it's a PSE Spider. This is what I hunt with. Um, I don't know what year it is. I mean, I guess it's at least like 15 years old. Uh, this was my dad's bow. He hunts with a crossbow now, so I'm using this one. Um, I know these bows are kind of designed for like somebody of a smaller stature, like kids or females, but uh, this bow does go up to 70 pounds, which I have it maxed out. So it's at 70 pounds today and it fits me perfect. So I'm not very tall. This bow is nice and quiet. I like it. Um, I don't see any reason to upgrade. It's a decent bow, but I'm just curious how fast it shoots. So we're going to measure that today. This is my target. Um, it's nothing special. So what I've done is I've measured out exactly 90 feet, which is 30 yards. Um, I have, you saw that stake there with the ribbon on it. I have one there and I have one at the other end of my barn. Uh, they are exactly 90 feet apart. I've measured it two or three times to make sure I was accurate. So that's gonna be 30 yards. Um, I'm going to take the camera, I'm gonna set it up um, about midway between the target and where I'll be shooting from, off to the side so it'll be in wide mode. Hopefully you can see the target and me in the same shot. So we're gonna try that out. All right, this is attempt number one. Um, I think you'll be able to see me and the target in the same shot. Um, you're on wide mode, 120 frames per second, and I'll shoot four or five arrows, and I'll be able to measure the uh, time it takes from the arrow to leave my bow to get to the target. I'll do that for um, all five arrows, and then we'll be able to average the value that we get to come up with a better uh, answer. So um, here we go. So the tip of my arrow is going to be right where this stake is um, and from this stake to the target should be exactly 30 yards so it'll be measured when the tip of the arrow passes um, passes by this stake so here we go all right guys I'm going to interrupt just for a second here uh, so you can see what I got going on so in the bottom left corner uh, you'll see I added a timer that's counting in seconds and it's out to the hundredth of a second. Um, on the right side of your screen you will see me with my bow. On the left side of your screen you will see the target. So what I did uh, to start the timer is, well first of all let me tell you, my, uh, my editing software is called Shotcut. Uh, it's a free software, anybody can download it. And if you're into making videos, it's uh, got some pretty cool features. You can do color grading and all kinds of different editing things. I'm not gonna go into detail in case you guys use something different. Basically, this is just how the mechanics of this works. So what I did is I zoomed way in on me holding the bow at full draw. And I went frame by frame. So I'm shooting 120 frames per second. So I'm going frame by frame one at a time as soon as I see the arrow start to move and it just gets to uh, where it's just about to leave the bow that's where I start the timer then I pan over to the target area and I zoom way in on the target and I hit my right 
arrow and I keep going frame by frame by frame until I see that arrow just barely touch the face of that target and then I ended the timer there. So that's why you'll see zeros up to where I took the shot and then you'll see the timer stop the moment uh, the arrow touches the target. So that is how I calculated the, uh, the timer. Um, so you will see in the very next clip I slowed this way down. You can actually see the arrow go across the screen as the timer is going and then when the timer stops that's how long it took that arrow to travel 90 feet. So um, yep uh, here's here's my five shots so uh, enjoy. Alright, there's one. Huh. My string hit my the sleeve on my coat. Uh, apparently this is a little bit too baggy, plus the wind's blowing in the wrong direction, and it's making my sleeve blow towards my bow. Hopefully it doesn't do that, no, hopefully it doesn't do it again. Wow, that wind is howling. I can see it making my arrow fly funny. I fit the target every time, so that's good. It is, uh, the end of April, so this is the first time I've had my bow out all year. I haven't shot in a couple months. So I'm a little rusty. But we're not we're not shooting for accuracy today, we're just shooting for the camera. Alright. Hit her all five times. Hopefully that worked out good. So I will take the memory card into my computer, download the uh, files, and I'll see, I'll see what I can see on the big screen. Alright guys, uh, that was the shooting. Um, I have the numbers here. I'm going to uh, go through the calculations. So as you saw, I'll put the numbers up on the screen somewhere. As you saw, the first shot was 0 0.39 seconds. Second shot was 0 0.40. Now, I think the reason for that slower time uh, was because, as you saw in the video, I was wearing kind of a baggy jacket and the wind was blowing and the arrow caught my, uh, caught my sleeve. I think that's why that one was the slowest. Third one, 0 0.37. Uh, fourth one, 0 0.38. And 0 0.38 again. So, that is the time it took the arrow to travel exactly 90 feet. So if we take an average of those, we come up with 0 0.384. Now, we're calculating arrow speed in feet per second. So if you go 90 divided by 0 0.384, I come up with 234.37 feet per second. So my bow essentially shoots 234 feet per second. Now, uh, that sounds kind of slow. Uh, especially compared to the manufacturer's standards that they put out, but you got to remember um, when, the when the manufacturers are measuring their bow speed uh, They're measuring it as soon as the arrow exits the bow so right in that first couple of feet there I'm sure it's somewhat standardized across the industry but the arrow, you know, might be lighter than the arrows I'm shooting, which would make it, you know, seem faster. And also, you got to remember, I'm shooting 90 feet. Uh, that arrow is losing a lot of speed in that 90 feet due to um, just...
just drag by by the air and stuff like that so um, you know it's it's not really to compare the speed that you're shooting versus the manufacturers uh, speed that they that they give you um, this is more just for your own use if you want to you know just if you're just curious how fast your bow is shooting um, if you're curious about how you know how distance might affect the speed you could you know shoot a shorter distance or shoot a farther distance and compare the the speeds that you come up with and you you might be able to tell how much your arrows you know losing speed over distance um, like I said earlier if you wanted to change you know broadheads or make your arrow you know way different if you want to make your arrow lighter or heavier and see how that affects the speed um, it's more for your own use it's it's not going to be comparable to what the manufacturers are putting out there just because like I said they're measuring it within the first couple of feet I'm measuring it basically the average speed over 90 feet the arrow is slowing down a lot so anyways I thought it was pretty cool worked out good I uh, got some pretty consistent numbers so I think it's pretty accurate um, without a chronograph I, I don't know of a way that you would get more accurate than this um, if you had a camera that shoots, I know my, my iPhone has a uh, 240 frame per second mode. Um, you could probably count frames and get it slightly more accurate, um, but it worked pretty good. So uh, anyways, let me know if you like this video. It was pretty fun to make and uh, hope to see you around next time. Thanks for watching Section 11 Outdoors.